Well, praise the Lord. My name is Ivan Mbaze. Today, I want to talk about something that's very important in the kingdom of God. I want to talk about praise and worship. What does it really mean to praise? What does it really mean to worship? Let's read uh, Psalms 100 so that we can see what it really means to praise the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All you land, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. Know you that the Lord, He is God. It is He that has made us and not we ourselves. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. The psalmist in Psalms 100, uh, uh, verse 2 says, Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing and let's look at what he says uh, in verse 4 verse 4 enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise be thankful unto him and bless his name for the lord is good his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations to praise god means to speak about the goodness of god his marvelous uh, doings whatever good he has done his nature to praise him to speak about what he has done for you and this means that one way of you praising the Lord is to testify to testify before believers before non-believers that the Lord has been good unto you the Lord has done very good things unto you the Lord has healed your disease when you stand before the congregation and said the Lord has done this and that for me you are praising the Lord. You are speaking about His goodness. You, are, you have entered His gates with thanksgiving. You are giving thanks for what He has done for you. It could be what He has done for you today. It could be what He did for you sometime. But, but every time you speak about uh, something good that has happened in your life and you attribute it to the Lord, the Creator, that means you are praising Him. And let's look at uh, Hebrews in the book of Hebrews uh, 13 the book of he Hebrews 13 verse 15 it says let us offer the sacrifice of praise Hebrews 13 15 says let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually that is the fruit of our lips giving thanks to his name praise is the fruit of our lips it is the good things the good words that come out of our lips it is that simple speech that you make attributing your success to god and worship is a lifestyle the book of john chapter 4 verse 23 to 24 but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the father in spirit and in truth for the Father seeketh such to worship Him. God is a spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. Where praise is really comely, the Bible says praise is comely. The book of John chapter 4, verse, verse 23, says that the Father seeketh such to worship Him, those that worship Him in truth and in spirit. To worship God means to live a godly life it means to acknowledge God in everything that you do it does not mean just one simple praise and worship session in church it means your lifestyle is a godly lifestyle it means you acknowledge God in every little thing that you do it could be that business venture it could be uh, your studies it could be uh, your decision on um, whether to retaliate to someone who has done you evil or not to retaliate it means that you will follow what the word of the lord says you will follow the law of the lord in everything that you do remember the bible says that the steps of a good man are ordered by the lord and he'd like to see in his way that is worship when every step of your life every step of your way is ordered by the Lord. You don't do anything contrary to what the Lord has called you to do.
it means you don't turn to the right or to the left. You acknowledge God in everything that you do. That is what we call worship. Your life literally depends on Him. And without Him, you are nothing. The Lord wants us to be His children. And as the Lord is children, we are supposed to worship Him. He is our Father. He has purchased us with the very precious uh, blood of Jesus Christ. And if we acknowledge that He is our Father, that is worship. We know that He will save us. We know that He will never forsake us. We know we can trust in Him. That is worship. To worship God means you uh, trust Him. You cannot worship someone that you don't trust. We trust that He is ours. We trust that He is actually, that He is mine. And that is what it means to worship. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lifts up His face upon you and give you peace. Jesus is mighty name, our friend believe. Amen. Peace is praying God Jesus.